I went to a website called Peakalytics, which I would say don't just blindly use uh, EV spreads from Peakalytics because you don't ever really know exactly what they're for, but I was just curious. And when I was on Peakalytics, I saw the usage stats for a lot of different Pokemon. You can see them right here, Series 9 VGC, right? So these are the usage stats. And I was like, dang, Tapu Fini's second, which is good because Tapu Fini's like really good right now. And then um, I looked at it and I was like, dang, those like first six Pokemon, like if you take a look at the first six, like right there, that's a good team. Like that's a, that's a good team. That's just the, the top six used Pokemon. If I were to make a team of those six, that would be really good. And usually it doesn't work out that way. Like if you look at that from other formats, like the top six most used Pokemon in even series eight or whatever format, they wouldn't, they wouldn't gel correctly. But these kind of do. These kind of do gel correctly. And I thought it was funny. Um, and so I just went and I, you know, got some sets made uh, for all these different Pokemon. And I was like, I'm just going to play with this. Hole. Aromatus. Yo, I will actually be the first person to say that, like, Aromatus is busted. Aromatus is busted. You heard it here first. Uh, I think P2 is great versus this, though. Like, yeah, there's not that much it does against a lot of the things. I don't necessarily need to TR, but, like, I don't want to get my face shoved in by a Pult either. So if I were to go, like, Porygon... See, I still think Feeny is, like, really, really good. And I know for a fact he's going to be going... Let me actually think about this. I think I'm just going to go, like, Aleki Porygon. And then I think that, like, Incineroar is a great Maximon here. And I think we probably want the Feeny. So, like, we just bring the Mons that, like, really give uh, Ice Horse and Pult problems. And then, like, these are also the Mons that inherently give Torkoal problems. We're wearing the same shirt today. Yo, hail yourself. This is... I like last podcast on the left. Uh, my girlfriend's the one that got me in the last podcast on the left. And uh, we used to watch their streams all the time when they did on the like, Adult Swim stream. And I think they're I think they're hilarious. I follow them on like social media. Alright. Aromatus should get follow me. I can see it. Aromatus is like a really, really good mon. So people definitely sleep on it. It's one of those mons that's like similar to like um how do I put it? It's very similar to like Oranguru to where like it can do so many different things. Like I don't care if you if you want to set TR, like you could totally do that, my guy. So it means he's probably not using Pult. He's probably not using Pult. Um, so it's probably like these two Torkoal Ice Horse. Oh, I just set a Light Scream for this first turn. Reflect next turn. Is that Misty Seed? Bro, that's sick. Yeah, this is fine. Um, I'm probably going to attack boost here. Yeah, a little bit not great there. I think this is fine. I don't care about TR. Um, I'll just set a Light Screen. And then I will go for... I guess I'll just go for a Try Attack into the Entity. Think Oren Grush could follow me? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It already does so much. It can have inner focus. It can have like symbiosis and cool things like that. What does it do? It just doesn't die. It's really thick. It's really, really thick. So is he expanding? Light screen's up, so we're fine. Just kidding. That's a fucking orb. Holy pog. Holy pog. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot, actually. And there's a trick room. That's fine. So we're just going to hard switch into in Sin. Could switch into the Feeny here. I think it's better to switch in the... Ah, it's like Feeny's... Feeny actually has to be Feeny. Just because we need to take away that terrain. He's chunking our Porygon a little bit too much. And we'll get that Entity low enough to where we want to wait out the rest of the TR turns. I want to see if he has Heal Pulse too. There's not really a reason to go after the Aromatus right now. Just because it's low-key kind of useless. It's a wet noodle. Do you know how many uh, players joined last tournament? I think there was like 20-something. But we didn't really do signups until like the last day, so that's why. There's the helping hand. Yeah, this is going to be fine. I'm glad that we switched in the Fiend to take away the terrain. Because it only makes him hit one target, just like it would have been the same thing if I switched the Incin. But it takes away the, uh, the Psychic terrain. You see Expanding Force, who's he hitting? Yeah, cool, I can just recover that. That's great. I'm just going to call mine. Let him kill himself from life orb. Aroma Veil. Yep, it gets Aro Aurora Veil. Or sorry, Aroma Veil Lamel. I'll just calm mind up. And then recover. I think we'll be fine. Ally switch. Well, look at this guy trying to ally switch me. Look at him trying to ally switch me. He's cute. Why would I ever waste my time? 
Why would I ever waste my time trying to attack you when I can just win? Look at that value. You can totally go for an expanding force on my Feeny. It'll do, it'll do decent damage. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Uh, but you're taking life orb damage too, and now I gotta call mine. So it's like, now I'm like, your Torkoal can't do anything. Now I'm a great max option. Um, yeah, that's fine. Base 99 special attack, and it's spedef is like through the roof too. It's a really, really good mon. It's a, it's a mono fairy too, so it doesn't have like the same weaknesses like Hat does to like, uh, you know, like Ghost and things like that. I actually think it's just fine to protect here. And, uh, which turns are There's a one or two turns left on GR, two, right? Two, awesome. There's not really a reason to reverse the TR this turn. So let's just attack the Roman. If he wants to ally switch, he can. I don't really care. Yep, helping hand. He's probably going to go into the Fiend this turn. Should use it. It's a good mom. It's a good mom. I just want my lefties to start working for me. I don't even want to kill this entity until next turn. So. Yep, we just get that. You get it like a freeze. Oh, this thing's going so well for me right now. Awesome. So this is the last turn of TR. Yeah, it's, it gets a lot of cool moves. Look at it. It's a cool mon. Um, let's actually think about what we want to start doing. Do we really want the second call mine? I think we actually do. Like, there's no reason to attack anything else. And if he ally switches, he's not using helping hand, which means he doesn't do more damage than, like, my lefties. I did nothing. He has a spit F boost. Yeah, Roman is really good. Really, really good Pokemon. Gotta respect it. For people that played back in, like, Gen 6, like, they know this Pokemon's good. And I respect it. Like, I'm giving it, like, full respect right now. Ally switch, completely fine. You're not using helping hand. And you're taking damage and you're wasting out turns on your TR. And the thing is, like, you're using Life Orb Entity. If he wasn't using Life Orb Entity, like, this would be a completely not great strategy. How long have you been streaming? We've been alive for about 10 minutes. Yeah, that doesn't really do it. Doesn't do it. Heal Pulse 2. Yeah. See, like, it's a cool mon, right? A lot of people overlook it for, like, Cresselia or Comfey, but I think it actually brings a lot more to the table. Because, like, you just put a Babiri Berry on this thing, and you're like, cool, I don't have any weaknesses, you know? Poison weakness isn't actually enough to ever KO it. So, like, throwing a raw Babiri Berry on that thing says, like, cool, I live forever, and you can't, like, taunt me or put me to sleep or whatever that ability does. Okay, so Trick Room's expired, so we just Muddy Water. And go for a Tri Attack. Cool. And if you want to cheer me again, like, go for it. <laughs> Follow me, Lamau. Like, I care. Follow me and Ally Switch. This guy's a straight villain right now. Straight villain. Ooh, I should have maxed my Porygon. I would have been able to get the KO. That's, I don't really care. Yep, that's awesome. He gets after you. It does. It gets all the cool moves. So that's super low over there. That's great. So it goes um, Trick Room, Helping Hand, Ally Switch. So it probably also has like Draining Kiss or Dazzling Gleam. Misty Terrain is now gone. That sucks for him because now I have Tri Attack. I'm actually probably going to protect TR. Is it Torkoal? This horse. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably just going to protect TR. Uh, I don't see a problem with that. Porygon's still at full. If you want to Swords Dance me like an absolute champion, you can try. But I doubt that that's the sauce. I still have an Incin ready to switch in in the back. I still have a Leki. Um, yeah. Aromatis is awesome, yeah. It has a cool shiny too. People usually look at like Slurpuff more. Because they usually are, are worked like that. Like, you know, they both are the weird fairy food mons from Gen 6. But uh, I've always liked Aromatis. It's a really, really good mon. I'm super happy to see him max right now. So that means when I max, I'll have like an ex I'll, like extra max turns after him. It's really good. And he can't just kill my Porygon this turn. He's going to Helping Hand probably go into the Feeny. He can even Helping Hand go into the Porygon, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't, it doesn't get it. Gyro. Okay. Oh! Gyro to proc policy! Alright, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. That's the last move. Gyro to proc policy. That's cool. So he has policy up. I don't think plus two kills uh, Porygon, though. He's probably going into the Feeny, anyways. Yep. Yeah, Feeny's fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just Muddy Water and Hard Switch in the Incin. Because it gives us Fake Up pressure on his last Mon. So Muddy Water will KO the Aromatist. It plays around the uh, pretty much everything. 
And if you want to take out the beanie, you can, but we have the instant and we will max it. So we just muddy water here. Got your coffee? My coffee sucks today, man. I have like leftover coffee ingredients, so I made like a Frankenstein coffee and it's not very good. So he's only at plus one now. So he actually might not even be able to KO Beanie, to be completely honest. I don't think we max, I just think we I think we play just like this. He's probably going for the helping hand uh, or the ally switch, which I think is fine. Yep, it's totally fine. Doesn't matter if he if he takes out the sin, it doesn't really matter. Then we'll just max Beanie next turn. Well awesome. Hit the Aromatist is great. But I, I think he's going after the Beanie. Actually drop on that thing is huge, by the way. Ice Horse uses a lot of not very accurate moves. How's it going, Zachary? Quakes up. He's at plus two spada. Awesome going to the Peeny. He's a plus one. Does take us out. Unfortunate. So he's going to go back up to plus two, which is not great. But there is a trick room, like, down. I actually think we're just going to max the Incin. Um, ooh. Let me actually think about this. Because he's a plus two. Let me think about this. Light screen is gone. I think I'm just going to send the Aleki out here. And just rescreen, probably. Like, reflect. Wait up the max turns. And then I think we'll be in a great spot. All right, let's see. What's your last mom? Torkoal, of course. Of course. Yeah, Ensign doesn't care about that. I think you really want to... Oh, this is hard to say exactly. Because he could yawn. I can parting shot that horse and reflect. To make him go to like minus one. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. Whoa, really? He's just going for the big eruption? That's that's totally fine. It's his last max turn. Uh if he wants to yawn my insane, he's a freak freaking champion. He did give me the sun, that's right. I'll take a reflect though. I don't care if he eruptions, it doesn't matter. Heat wave, burning jealousy, whatever. Earth power, that's totally fine still. It won't KO. Yep. Citrus berries up. We should have enough damage to take him out. Because he only got spidef boosts, so like we're fine. And we got a reflect out of it, so it's super nice. I think I'm still going to double into it, just because uh, it's the right thing to do. Bring out the Porygon. Just to like make sure it's completely gone. That was canceled. He knew. He knew. I didn't even max to beat that man. I didn't even need to max. And you know what? You know why we actually won that one? Like, straight up? Do you know why we won? It's because we respected Aromatus. Like, Aromatus, like, we played that so patiently. I think most people were like, I need to max. I need to do XYZ thing. And it's like, I actually, I know that Aromatus is like a wet noodle that, like, needs the reliance on really good teammates. And so I was like, cool, I'll, I'll just force you to have good teammates. Which, that team didn't have good teammates. Like, if that team was like, Aromatus, Spectrier, Dragapult, Urshifu, Cinderace, it'd be a completely different game. But he's like, I will set the trick room and play really lame. I'm like, I can be more lamer than you. All right, who we got? Zapdos is so good right now. Zapdos is probably a top five Pokemon that people just don't really realize is very good. Like people have definitely moved on to using like Landos and stuff like that, but Zapdos is like really good. So like one thing that I always want to talk about when you get into a team preview, one thing I always used to like to say is like, all right, tell me how many Intimidators are over there. Next, tell me um, some potential forms of speed control. You know, Zapdos can get uh, Airstream, and can get Bulldoze. Uh, Venusaur doesn't really bring that much speed control. Um, doesn't really bring that much, but Porygon has Trick Room and potential for Icy Wind. After that, the next thing you want to look at is like, okay, what are some common cores? You got the Venicole, you got like Porygon, different setups with that. Uh, there's no really obvious policy proccing teams here. And after that, now that you've done all that stuff, you can start to analyze their items. So Eevee Light Porygon, uh, going to be Specs or Citrus on Torkoal, potentially Lefties or Citrus or Pinch on Umbreon, potentially uh, Sash, Wide Lens, or um, maybe even something like a Life Orb, or Salt Vest on Venusaur, potential for Salt Vest on Entei, and definitely the Life Orb is going to be on the Zapdos, or even Safety Goggles, because that's super popular right now. And now I have 23 seconds, because I talked about all that, to actually pick my mods. So let's see what we want to do here. Um... I think Beanie's good. I think Porygon's good. I like Lando here. And I'm gonna bring in Sin. Are these right? Who knows? But uh figuring out all that, all that stuff is pretty nice. 
Yeah, I think Feeny is a decent lead here. It forces the Venusaur to play a little bit differently. And uh, bringing the Incineroar back is actually really nice. Is there a certain Pokemon you miss that's not in the game? I want Yamega back. Yeah, I want Yamega. Yamega's cool. Give me back Yamega. Porygon 2 Umbreon. Cool. That's totally fine. I have absolutely no problem with that. It's time to call mind. Call mind it up. So based off this lead, what do we think they have in the back? Probably Torkoal, right? That's an attack boost for him. I could probably get attack boost as well. Yep, awesome. That's great. That's great. So, like, it's probably Torkoal. And I'm thinking it might be Torkoal Venu, but it could also be Torkoal Entei. If that's a bulky Zapdos, it's Torkoal Zapdos. But I don't think that it is. So we're just going to call mine here. There's no reason for my Porygon to stay on this board at all. All right, let's go. Absolutely no reason. It, Porygon's only there to hard check uh, Zapdos and Entei off the lead. You see Torkoal Venu? Venu might be. I think if they had Venusaur, they would have loved it. They would have let Venu um, Porygon with the ability to hard switch out for Torkoal. Combine's fine. I actually just want the special D-boost. I don't care if they snarl me. Like, it doesn't matter to me if I get snarled. I just want the Spideff boosts so we have a better matchup versus Venusaur and Zapdos in the back. Yep, that's completely fine. I'll, I'll actually do this all day. <laughs> all day I be doing this. Every day I be doing this. Yeah, go for it. No Trick Room. Yo, they don't like Beanie. So that means they might not have Venusaur or uh, Zapdos. Highly possible. Highly possible. But yeah, we take those Spideff boosts and uh, I'm going to go for another one. And I'm going to Parting Shot. Toucanon is my other Pokemon that I would wish for that I want. I want Toucanon. Literally, those are the only two. I want Toucanon and I want Yamega. Give them back. You can snarl me till the cows come home. You don't do more than my leftovers. And right, we also don't have a bunch of ways to like check this Umbreon. But like, I think this is fine. Just making the Porygon weaker is going to be fine. We have Lando back. I don't want to bring in the Lando. Do I want to bring in the Lando? Actually, let me think about that. That's actually a cool idea. Like, I could totally just go Lando here. No, it's not. It's better to bring in Porygon. <sighs> Yep, just play it chill. Just play it patiently. If you bring in the Lando, you can open up to get Ice Beam. We're using Adamant and Cinnaroy, yeah. Uh, it does not matter to me how much stuff they want to throw into this thing. I'm literally using this just for the Spadef boosts. Because, like, that board has zero power, right? It has absolutely none. It has zero. I, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Let's just let's just chill for a bit. I'm gonna force you to do something because, like, I can sit here just as long as you can, and eventually, I'm gonna crit you. Yeah, Adam Center is good. We don't want to show our Lando. I think Lando's uh, probably emergencies. So we've seen Tri Attack and we've seen Eerie Impulse. Probably Trick Room Recover. So it, it might not have Ice Beam just by showing the Eerie Impulse. Yeah, I'm totally fine to just keep doing this. Like, you just don't deal damage. You could snarl my Porygon, I don't think it matters. I, was, I want to see if the Umbreon's lefties, which is why I'm going into the Umbreon this turn. So you also have to realize, like, I'm playing this game. He took such a longer turn than me as well. It's like, you can do this all day. Because at the end of the day, like, if I lock in my moves really fast and you don't, and you're playing a board that has zero pressure, like, you will lose on time. Oh, I don't have any speed on the sin. Are you lefties? You don't want any speed on the sin. It is cool. That's totally. That's absolutely fine. I have zero. I have zero problems with this. Yeah, we'll just chill, chill here for a while. We want to actually wait out our um our terrain. Just want to wait it out. I'm actually still gonna try attack. Just want to start uh, breaking sashes. If he wants to switch me to Soren or something. No reason to hit the Umbreon anymore, because it has lefties. Okay, I thought we might be able to catch the Porygon, but he's taking longer. 
than I am with these turns. This is totally fine. Like, he doesn't do any damage. Incinder Salamence. I would say Incinder's still better, but, like, Salamence can be a better team carry. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. I'll just be able to recover in two turns. I really wonder what he thinks he's doing here. I feel like a lot of players would be in my position would be like, I have to switch, I can't do anything, but it's like, I have health advantage. I technically do have health advantage. I'll see. Yeah, we just pop a recover next turn. Do I want to recover this turn? No, I can recover next turn. There's no reason to trick him either. I don't have to. Take longer. Take longer. Yeah, use all your time. And then start befuddling around. When you when you run, run out of time, you have to switch things out. And you switch things in and get frozen. There's the yawn. Hey, go for it. That's, go for it. That's totally fine. That's a... Is that a crit? Yeah, never lucky. That sucks. We'll recover next turn, though. I'll crit you back, bro! That's right. Respect. Alright, so let me actually think about this. Do I care if I go to sleep? I do care. Yeah, it's because someone gets a fake out. No, the thing is, like, and there is a reason to invest in speed, so you don't lose the other incineroars, right? You want to be able to have that fake out control. So like 12, 20, 28, 36, 44, those are definitely numbers you want to go in sin for speed, but you don't ever want more than 60, I would say. Yeah, let's we'll switch the beanie out. It's fine. And you can actually on the last turn of Mystery Dream, which is what he did, because it doesn't drop the sleep until the turn after. So in sin actually takes this damage, but now we have fake out pressure on that Venusaur he comes out with it. Zapdos. Awesome. That's great. Do something different. There's the Yawn and the Porygon. That's completely fine. I'm um, probably going to switch Lando in that slot. And Parting Shot the Zapdos. That sounds about right. Yep. See how we have a whole minute of extra time on this man? We have a whole freaking minute. That's a lot. That's a lot of minutes. Take as long as he wants. These intimidates are so wasted. That's fine. No max yet. Ooh, he's thunderbolting instead of maxing. That's smart. That's a good play. He's orbed. Awesome. I love I love seeing that. No yawn there. He should just be spamming that. He should. Should be. Especially against, like, the Lando. Uh, we're gonna be using it in a little bit. Ah, that sucks. Waste our wider up there. Parting shot's great for Zap. Alright, you ready for something cool? You ready to start winning? I am. I'm ready to start winning. Let's win. Put some wins up. It's time. This is on ranked right now. So now Beanie's too weak. Or not Beanie. Uh, Zapdos is too weak to do anything in, but Max is. And this is how we get the Umbreon off the board. He's going to be able to outspeed if he wants to airstream, so I can't stop that. So, like, this is just the play. Make the Feeny faster. I could max the Feeny. I don't think that's the right play. Yeah, because they're switching on the Zapdos for Porygon, right? Next turn, we're just doubling on the Porygon. We've seen Fake Out. Sorry, we've seen Foul Play, Snarl, Yawn. Probably Moonlight. It's probably not Protect. If it is Protect, he's just an absolute Pog champion player. And I don't think that Porygon has Ice Beam. If it, if it has Ice Beam, it's literally cutting either Trick Room or Recover. And I can see it cutting uh, Trick Room. I've seen those running around. You just, they're not very popular. Now we are maxing before him. But we are getting a speed boost, so if we can, if we can deny the Trick Room, that's great. Yeah, we're going to take out the Ember on this turn. 
Probably, maybe. If I was orbed, he'd be definitely gone, but we'll see. If he's not gone and he yawns our Lando, we might lose. I, I will say that. I will say that. So go away. Yo. And now we got a Mon lead. And this guy's running out of time. Patience prevails. That heavy special attack we need. Heavy, boy. There's a zap. Can't, he can yawn the Lando. And you can actually yawn while terrain's on the board. They just don't get put to sleep. So like on the last turn, the last turn you can. I'm just going to nuke this Porygon, I think. I think Porygon's more of a threat. I think we actually can... I kind of want to just Quake it. If he ally switches P2, he can be a Pog Champ. I don't care. Because, like, if he ally switches, it doesn't matter. Like, Zapdos mitigates Airstream so well. And he already knew that my lander didn't, didn't have a Lum. So he already, we already wasted our Lumberry. Or, sorry, uh, our Wider. He's taking more time! I just hope we don't get ally switch this turn. We're already outspeeding the Zapdos right now. And I think I think getting a plus one Spadef boost is gonna make it so we're not dead. <laughs> so like right now our Feeny should Feeny might not outspeed, it's hard to say. Alright, cool. This shouldn't KO, but like we'll see. That's about the range that I thought. And I think this plus one Spadef gives us like the live on the Thunderbolt. I could be super wrong. Maybe I should have airstreamed. Um, just so we can guarantee takeout. Thick. Thick, boys. Let's go. And we're still fat. The next time we can just airstream, you know, or rock ball or whatever. Get out of here, Porygon. Porygon. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Yeah, I told you, like, this guy led, he literally just tried to wave me out, and I was like, no, stop it, get some help. Now he's run, running out of time, running out of Pokemon, and Orlando is still beefy. Got that Spadef boost, got that speed boost? Torkoal, wise choice. Torkoal busted. Let's think about this. Is it worth keeping this Finial app? Out of time, out of Mons. Out of sight, out of Mons. Yeah, I can take... I have almost, almost a two-minute lead on this guy. Yeah, I can just pop a Protect here. I don't think it actually matters. Because we don't think Feeny to check the Torkoal low-key. Um, I think we just Quake. Get another Spadef boost on my Tor on my uh, on my Lando. The next turn, go out of Protect. Wait for him to run a Max turn. Rock Slide. Oh, look at this guy Max guarding. He's floundering. He's floundering right now. Trying to bait me. You know, we respect Torkoal here. That's fine, bro. Absolutely fine. This is your last max turn next turn. Anyone tell you that? You only got one more? Yeah, that's totally fine. I'll take another Spadef boost, boys. So we're going to fodder the Feeny here, I'd say. All right, no problem foddering Feeny here. And then, because we still want the Porygon's still a great mana bring in, and Incineroar can come after that and then fake out things. Yeah. He's really not expecting, he's going to go Hurricane probably into this. Oh, Money Water is so lame here. I'll move Blast. I'll move Blast this app to put it within range for a Rock Slide. But Zapdos is like so underwhelming against like Lando. Like I could Muddy Water, I don't think Muddy Water is a play. I think that just going for a Moonblast, sticking straight damage into the Zap is a good idea. Yep, Airstream, it's good, right play. Hit the wrong target though. I, I still would hit the Lando. I wanna see, what he, I wanna see if he's yawning with Torkoal. I wanna see if he's yawning. So he's gonna be able to outspeed my Landorus now, but I don't know if that matters. He takes those orb damage. Heat wave, cool. No burning jealousy either. No eruption. None of that. Alright, so who we want? Both these are really good here. How's it feel to be out of max turns? All by your lonesome. 
Where can I check my team? Um, I haven't posted anywhere yet. It's gonna be on Patreon in a couple days, probably. I wouldn't be surprised to see Double Protect here, just because we know he has it. But remember, he's the one that's running out of time. Don't run out of time. Uh, if I fake out the Zapdos and Rocks, I think I, I actually just want to go fake out into the Torkoal and Rock Slide. You can totally protect, but then protect me on cooldown for next turn. Yep, protect Zapdos. I had no problem with protect Torkoal. Absolutely none. Yep. We actually don't want to go down to two mons. So we're just going to hard switch into Porygon here. And then probably Rock Slide still. Because we want to be able to um, make sure like he can't like... We want to be able to switch at our land if we have to. So we want like three. Always want the three mons. So we'll see. Rock Slide won't KO these guys. It won't KO the Zap. It won't KO the Torkoal. But man, he's taking even more time. More time! Take all the time you need, my guy. Yeah, I'm not letting you Thunderbolt mine Sin and crit it. I'm not letting that happen. You can crit this thing. I'll take a special attack boost. Yep. Hurricane. In the sun! Are you freaking real? He tried? He, he straight up tried, chat. He tried so hard. That's actually really good for me. I can't believe he hit that. <laughs> Flinch, we take those. You That's what you get, by the way. Only villains. Only villains go for Life Orb Hurricane in the sun after wasting their full timer. No, he still has like two minutes left, but... Goes for a second one! Wow! Look at this guy. Look at him. And he gets the confused. He double hits Hurricane in the Sun. These type of players don't deserve to win, chat. They don't. They don't deserve to win. Let's be real. He doesn't deserve this. That's right. You don't deserve it. Pack it up. Go home. You don't deserve this win. Straight up outplayed massively all game. We take those. Backs to the wall. I'm not even gonna say play to your outs. Like I'm gonna say like that's deserved. I really like I really like this guy's team. Um, I think Salamence is very very underrated right now. I think Salamence is one of the most slept on Pokemon in this format. We have a Salamence team we're using in a couple days. I think Alcremie's really good. Uh, I think Porygon's really good. I think it's like Sun TR, but like I don't know if I care about Mimikyu. I actually think I want to lead Rilla. I think I want to lead with the Rilla, but I don't know. I also don't see a big issue with leading like in Sin here either because we can party shot things to keep them weak. We can fake out things. We can Ice Beam Sally and Venusaur. So I think I'm actually going to lead Porygon. I think I'm going to lead Porygon and in Sin. And I do really like Feeny here. So I'll bring the Feeny. And then we need one thing to like low key help check Venusaur. None of these really do it. Rillaboom forces him to have like Weather Ball or Sludge Bomb. Man, like, Leech Seed's good versus a lot of these, though. I think I'm going to the Rilla just because that's Fake Out. I think it's good versus the Porygon reset. I think Landorus could also be very, very good here, but Landorus is kind of required to be a Max Mon, and I don't really want to do that. I'd rather Max, um... I could Max the Rilla. <laughs> you know, I think I'm, I'm probably going to Max Porygon this game. Or in Sin. And it's weird looking at my team thing like, oh yeah, Max Porygon, Max and Sin, that's the good stuff. I think Landorus could also be seen as really good here versus Torkoal, but like also we'd have to max Lando, and I don't want to be pinned down that hard. So let's go. Porygon on Krem. Yo, this person knows what they want. Go for it. Let's actually think about how we want to do this, because this is going to be not great. Special attack, please. Just give me what. No. Fuck. This Porygon is going to absolutely melt me with, like, Decorates. Let's try it. We just have to get this, uh, 
we have to get the all cream off the board. Uh, there's no if ands or buts. No if ands or buts. Gotta get it gone. Let's see. He's probably going. Would you trick room and decorate on the same turn? Is he maxing it? Like I doubt it. Holy crap! Is he maxing his Porygon turn one instead of trick rooming? Was he maxing El Cremi? Okay, he's maxing the Porygon. Turn one max Porygon is such a weird play. But he has a special attack proc, so like I'm not even mad. The thing is, though, he's gonna make me slow for next turn, which is not good. For the max strike, probably. Yeah, I'm not letting you decorate. I want to see if he flinches before Porygon. Yeah. Okay. There's a strike, so now he's faster than everything. Oh my god, you went after the right target too. Do you guys think that we can Oko the Alcremi with a Grassy Glide? What do you guys think? Survey says, what do you guys think? Yes or no? I'm full adamant with a Miracle Seed. Adamant with Miracle Seed. You got two no's and two yeses. I think we're pretty much required to do it. I think not quite as well. I think that's a perfect answer. It's not quite. I'm going to say we got it, though. I'm going to go for it. That's right. Get out of here. <laughs> I hate that thing, man. <laughs> get out. Torkoal. Yo, you don't want to eat this either, buddy. Like, this guy doesn't want to eat this either. This is good damage. Our crummies are special D-thick. And Rage Potato knows what's up. That, that guy knew what was up, too. Look at this. Look at this damage. That's on a Torkoal. Bro, that's like, that's a torque, that's a crit. Yo, that would have crit the Alcremi then. We would have had the KO. We would have had it. I'm okay losing the Rilla here. I'm okay losing the Rilla. Like, it's fine. We, this is fine. I think it's, I think we're actually okay. So he took away his son too. And this is his last turn max and we're parting shotting. So like all we realistically need to do is like not get our butt handed to us by this max. And then we'll be in a good spot. So, like, I think we bring in Feeny, and we just pop a Calm Mind. And we hard switch out in Sin for, like, oh, we bring up Porygon next turn. Yeah. Where's Feeny? Do I? Let me think about this. This is a hard situation to be in, because, like, that Porygon is, like, super problematic. And he's going to be able to outspeed my incentive every Actually, I'm completely fine with this. Because he thinks we're probably going to fake out the Torkoal. And we're not. I don't think Feeny cares about eating a neutral max strike. So we're just gonna Larry it here, or we're just gonna parting shot again there and just go for a call mine. Like, I don't care about this Torkoal. He's, this is forcing the protect just because, uh, this is forcing the protect. It should, yeah, because the incident has to fake out. So like we're threatening, or otherwise he might not have, right? Um, and we're just disrespecting it. So we're getting a free call mine. We are faster than this Porygon, thank goodness. Thank goodness, right? I kind of need this. And I don't care if he hits the port or the instant. Oh, we actually thought it's beat up. That's nice. We didn't really know from the first turn because we got max striked on the first turn. So that's it. His Porygon's going to be a minus one. That was a good play. That was like a really, really good play, I think. And we're able to bring in our Porygon. And we're probably going to get a special attack boost here. Snarl would have been great. We don't have Snarl. I actually, I like Parting Shot more because it resets my fake out. So like, I would rather use, I'd rather use exactly what I used. Yep, see? Like, I don't want my instant taking that damage. Porygon can recover that. So, Parting Shot's way better there. And I don't need to TR, but now that you give me a speed drop, I can think about it. We're still faster than this Porygon. At a minus one speed on our Fiend. That's actually really important. So, let me actually think about what I want to do here. Because, like, I don't think I should care about Torkoal. Yeah, I got the, por I got the special attack boost. I think we just nuke his, Por his Porygon. This man's trying to steal a game. 
Try to steal it. Yeah, we're at plus one. I think I'm just gonna nuke his Porygon. I could max my Porygon here too, can't I? That'd be sick. Cause like, I don't need to max my Feeny. I can just go for Muddy Water to finish with Yeah, I actually really like that. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I know you're withdrawing someone. Like, who wants to switch in on this? I don't want to max the Feeny because it's so abysmal when, like, Torkoal comes back in. You know what I mean? It's so bad. So, like, I don't want to max the Feeny and then have him, like, switch back into Torkoal on the turn that I max Geyser or something and have to use max, uh... Kill no, we're going to kill their Porygon. We don't care about the Alcremia right now. His Porygon's at minus one. He can decorate to go to back to where he was, like, four turns ago. <laughs> So let's see it. He ain't running protect. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness we hit that muddy water. It's that one was so important on, on both of them. It was super important on both. So yeah, that's how thick that Alcremi is on, on that side. Try attack. Yeah, he's going for it. He can't really get anything off of it though. That's lefty's that's lefty's chip, pretty much. This is gonna make him slower than my, my Porygon again next turn, probably. Just kidding, he done so! He done so! We just won Okay. Yo, we take those. Get out of here, Porygon. Never heard of it. What are you going to send out now? What are you going to send out now? Right? You got that Torkoal in the back? I'd like to see you try. I'd like to see you try. Oh, it's so good. Someone said that I pronounced Luxray wrong in that video. Or Luxray. I don't, I don't care what it's called. It's just a Pokemon. But it, people got hella butt hurt. And on my TCG channel, people get super butt hurt when I call it Luxray or Luxray. Right? Lux. They're like, it's not called, you don't spell it deluxe. And I was like, I, I can say it however I want. However I wish. Yeah, the Luxray that we fought, though, was really good. He's dead. He dead, too. Really good play, I think, to max the uh, Porygon there. Beating them with their own... Yeah, this is definitely putting it back in their face. It's like, oh, you wanted to Dynamax your Porygon on the first turn? How about I Dynamax my Porygon on the first turn? Not first turn, but, you know, I Dynamaxed it to win the game. He, his Torkoal still should go away. So Moonblast probably takes out the Salkremi. It's single target. Yeah. Awesome. He's a plus two. Like, if, if something, something bad happens, that'd be bad. But he should be dead. Plus one stab. Special attack invested P2 with a max strike. Taking it out. This, I, I, I was telling you guys, all you got to do is wait out their turn one max. When people turn one max and you have the right core, you could just sit back and let them waste their max turns. Like, everyone always asks me, like, what's the trick to getting a Master Ball? It's like, that's kind of the trick. You know, just don't lose all your mons to their all-in play. He led Porygon Alcremi and tried to turn one decorate his max P2. And we're like, no, <laughs> stop it. Get some help. Just stop it. You could transfer Pokemon Go Mons from Sword and Shield if you caught them. I, th I think so. Yeah, we take those, man. We take those. We may have lost Rillaboom, but it was worth it. I love this. That's such a cool squad. That's a really cool Sunroom team. That's like the new age Sunroom. I actually still think like Entity Hat is better, but the good thing about this one is like it forces me to respect both the like Torkoal Porygon option while not getting my face shoved in by, like, Urshifu, Lucky Lando. And I really do think that, like, Feeny can be very, very good here. I just have to be really smart about when I set my TR. Like, I can't just lead Lucky, right? can't. I can. I can just lead Lucky. I can just lead it. Hmm. Do I want to lead Lucky? Because, like, if they max Lucky into my Feeny, I'm sad. I know we're leading Porygon. Porygon's definitely coming here. Are they leading Lando or are they leading in Sin? What do you guys think? Sorry, Lando or uh, Lucky, I mean. I think they're leading with... Uh, I'm going to bring both those. I think I'm going to bring my Rilla too. I think Rilla's still a really cool mod. I'm going to bring Feeny. The, fa the more fake outs, the better versus the squad, I would say. Because we just have to pin the Urshifu, get the TR up, and then we max it. So if they would like Urshifu, literally anything else, we just fake out the Urshifu, set TR next turn, max the Porygon, take out the Urshifu. Good to go. 
And we're leaning in Sin because we want the Intimidate in case they lead Lando. I would say Rilla would be better versus Lecky. But, like, those physical Leckies have bounce. And if it is physical Lecky, which is what would be probably more of a problem, we are intimidating it. So that's nice. Everyone always talks about how busted, like, physical Lecky is. It's like, yo, just intimidate it. It's not, like, it's not the end of the world. All right, so there's two ways we can play this. Um, we can just switch in our Feeny and ignore him. Yeah, our Lecky screens. Special attack boost, never Lecky. That's not luck, but... <laughs> Attack boost, never lucky. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to max and hit this Venusaur right now. Alright, let's go. Venusaur is a big problem for me, so I need to get it off the board. I don't even want to fake out it. Like, I could fake out it, but if he maxed here, I'd be in a bad spot. And we're doing this to stop him from uh, sleep powdering. I don't care if he, wants to, if he wants to TR, he can totally do that. I think there's a slight chance he actually goes like... Uh, so, uh, TR here. Okay, he's maxing. It's great. It's great. E even if he hits the Feeny, like, I don't care. <laughs> Hopefully this KOs. I don't know if this KOs Venusaur. This and Sin has attack investment, by the way. Like, a significant amount. We might be able to KO. I wonder if he's, like, quaking. My and Sin. Turn one outlet? I maybe. He would just let me TR him, though. If he's doing that. I mean, I don't care if I lose the Feeny here. If he is ally switch though, like I think there's a higher chance of like eerie impulse if he's gonna do that. Max and Sin is not what this guy wanted to deal with today. I'll tell you that right now. Quite, yeah, it is quick. Oh crap, that's a lot. That's actually a lot more than I thought he was gonna do. Straight up, I'm not even lying. That's a lot more than I thought. I, that's, that must be modest then. Oh, he's orb. Okay, I was like, there's something. I was like, that's too much. I know that's too much. Yeah. He's fast now. But, uh, I mean, I wanted my berry. Awesome, he popped my berry. Thank you. Oh my god, that's plus one though. Yeah, we're in range now for death on both of these. All right, well, the Venusaur can kill the Ensign or the Feeny. And this is gonna look weird, but I think it's the right play. If you want to go for the grass attack, like the grass dot into my Feeny, go for it. If you want to Earth Power Mind Send, you can go for it. I'm just trying to wait out your max turns just in case, like, shit hits the fan. I wouldn't be surprised to see him nuke the Feeny this turn. Quake block? Oh, awesome. This is, this, is a, this is a really, really patient play, but I think it's the right one. Yeah, I think it's the right play for sure. Yeah, you get a little bit of health back, but I also get a little bit of health back. I think next turn we switch out the Incin. And then we have the uh, potential the Grassy Glide KO the Rilla, or the Venusaur after. Pretty sure this KOs. Like, I know it's fourth. Max Guard's busted. is really, really good. I'm pretty sure even fourth, I think the Venusaur would still go down. Because I think he's high. He's he's very, very aggressive. He'll, he'll take chip damage if he makes con uh, contact with Porygon. Leech Seed's good. Leech Seed's really good in this situation. And saving the Incineroar is, like, a good play, I think. Saving Incin's, like, that's the... There's a reason he's nuking this turn one, guys. You have to think about that. There's a reason he wants Incineroar off the board so hard that he'll nuke it two turns in a row. There's the Quake. He's just ignoring the Rilla. He's probably gonna, like, Ice Beam it, but I think that's fine. I don't think we die. Let me hit my Leech Seed. That's so important, because I can send in Sim back in that slot and get, like, Orphini and get both, like, Terrains plus, like, uh, I don't think we die. As long as we don't die, we're good. Thick! That's great. This is great. I'm pretty sure we take out the Venusaur here. I know it's fourth, but I still think we take it out. And I'm going to Trick Room. 
Look at this. So we have Grassy Surge, or Grassy Terrain, and the Leech Seed. That's so much health back. Like, we could protect here and get, go back up to, like, half. That's so sick. I actually think it's a better play to switch the Fenian to set the terrain and reset my... Yeah, reset my um, fake out for later and just go for a trick room here. What's Venus going to do? Sleep powder? <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if the grass guy takes it out, and I don't want him I don't want him to protect bait me either. I don't want him to protect bait me. You could you could protect with your Venusaur and I speed my Feeny slot and let me get let me set TR. Show me that protect. Sleep powder, never heard of it. What's that? Yeah, there's no reason for me to fodder my Rilla there. This is also just a better board state. This just a, just a better board state. And remember, Feeny has Leech Seed ticking on that Porygon. So he's going to have to switch, which means he's going to lose his Spadef boost. Sorry, Special Attack boost. And all those Spadef boosts. And when he switches it back in, this board is not the same board they web with, which means he'll get an Attack boost. So the Venusaur is pinned. The Leech Seed's ticking. It's a good spot to be, if you're me. So we're going to seal up the Venusaur and start Calm Mining. He probably has Protect, Sleep Powder, we've seen Earth Power, and then probably Grass Attack. Which is why he didn't like go for a Sludge Bomb into the Real Boom when it was on the board. So he can Protect with this Venusaur, but we're still going to keep it honest. He's a little bit pinned. A lot bit pinned. Yo, thank you for the host. Those are nice plays, that's right. Torkoal never heard of what's that. He's like, ha, you trick grouped. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I, I did, I did use that. Is this an Emerald? What is that? It's like a Nuzlocke thing? Never really, I never really done one of those. Let's see what the Porygon's doing. I wonder if he's trick rooming my trick room. That'd be stupid. <laughs> he is, but you're switching Torkoal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, man. Go for it, champ. And the sunlight dips. Yo, that's the saddest freaking Torkoal I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Yo. Okay, buddy. Yeah, bye. That Porygon has like big... Spadef boost. Plus two. I think that's okay. I think I'm gonna trick him again. Like, what are you going to do about it? Forget your Venusaur. <laughs> yeah, he's switching. <laughs> Yo, show me that Venusaur, bro. You know you're gonna lose the Venusaur on the switching, right? You know it's gone. Protect Torkoal. Okay, go for it. Yeah, I'm still trick rooming you. <laughs> you're not stopping me here. Torkoal, no, he's protecting. If I hit this Venusaur, he's dead. Uh, this is usually about the time that I stream. We stream around this time. Like, I'll be- I'm live this time pretty much Monday through Friday. Yeah. Man woke up and chose Torkoal. Yeah, and then the Trick Room's back. And now your Porygon doesn't have a special attack, and it doesn't have the plus two special D that it had. So show me that attack boost. Show me that attack boost. Wanderous? Bro, you're not. You're not. You're really going to send out Landorus to fight Beany Porygon. And this guy's probably thinking to himself, this guy maxed in Sin turn 1. Why am I losing to max in Sin turn 1 guy? And it's like, oh, maybe because you sent Torque out the last turn of Sun and reset your own TR and all of the above. It's better to go like this. Yeah, this is, I stream this. Yeah, this is a, that was a good play for me. I don't care about Jalandris at all. Yeah, this is, this is pretty much a stream pretty much every day. Nice attack boost, though, like I said. So, yeah, I think it's a great play. Like, Landris is cool, but, like, I can I can send that Landris out whenever. Like, I can take this thing out literally whenever I feel like it. Yep, and it's probably, it's vested, which, uh, which is, like, he would have died if it wasn't. I think it's vested. I'm pretty sure. This is the fly. Nice fly, bro. Like, I care. Um, who's... So, my Porygon's probably slower than him. So, like, I can probably just get away with... I can Calm Mind here, but I actually am going to double into the Porygon. Just in case, for some reason, he is slower than my Porygon and gets a Recover off. So, we'll still be able to KO. So, when we play with viewers, we ask viewers for input. Yeah, I could have got a Calm Mind off there, but I didn't know if we'd, lose, if we'd win a speed tie. Yeah, that's completely fine. This is offensive Beanie, yeah. 
Uh, ally switch and leech seed's weird. I, I think that you switch away from being seeded, but I don't remember. I don't actually remember, I'll be honest. Alright, Torkoal. It's Torkoal time. Yeah, I could have also protected Feeny to block the fly. Um, you can see who they target with fly when they fly with the land, but I still think this is, like, super okay. I still think this is super fine. We kind of just need to get the Torque off the board. He gets Sorb in the Feeny. I don't think he actually takes it out. Now, let's go. There's a Solar Beam. I don't think Feeny dies here, though. I will see. I could be super wrong. I uh, I think we saw protect though, so it means he's not specs. Yo, thick feeny though, <laughs> thick feeny though. Again, I still think it's better to go after this Torkoal than going after the Lando because Lando goes down to this. Just gotta hit your moves. Feeny busted. Hundred percent win rate. This team's nuts when played correctly, man. And remember, this team was just six Pokemon that are the most six used. It's not even like I did anything to build it. Obviously, I'm an expert EV trainer, but uh, we take those wins.